welcome to my makeshift YouTube channel. Um, this I designed to bring you great workouts to the comfort of your own home straight away. Um, so if you didn't know me already, I'm Amy and I run Scrummy Mummy's Fitness, which is a mum and baby exercise group based in uh, Hornchurch in Essex. Um, what I'm going to do today is a hit and tone postnatal workout for you today. So if you've recently had a baby, if you've been given your six week okay check, feel free to take it nice and easy, stay with those low options today. 12 weeks for C-section um, delivery, again taking it nice and easy, making sure you're engaging, any discomfort, feel free to stop at any time. Those of you who are all my clients, feel free to go at your own pace, your own level, if you want to bump it up, feel free, but make sure you're safe. Cool, stop if you need to, remember, drink, water, um, keep hydrated. So, we're gonna start with a nice, easy warm-up. So make sure you've got enough space, clear your kitchen space, and obviously if you wanna bring in your baby, feel free to add a little bit of weight. Okay, right, we're gonna start by feet hip width apart, roll your shoulders back and down. So we're really demonstrating good posture from the side. And then roll them forwards. Release. So really want you to try and release any tension in and around the shoulders, the neck, the jaw. Maybe give it a little shimmy. <laughs> Lovely. Let's start with a rotation. Bring your hands under your shoulders and then just start to twist from side to side. Good. Pull your navel in towards your spine. Lift up nice and tall. Then bring it back to centre. Let's move our feet. March. Nice strong arms here, again from the side. Back nice and straight. If you're holding your baby, be sure you're not slumping forwards. Tummy engaged. All right, we're gonna sweat a little bit today. We're gonna get our heart rate up. We've got two rounds of hit, and then we're gonna tone a little bit after that. We've got a 20 minute workout for you today. Keep marching, we're gonna punch those arms forward and back. You can put some music on, you can work with this beat or you can go without. Let's take those arms up wherever you are, keep marching. Press up to the ceiling, relax those shoulders. And start to bring a little bit of heat into that upper body. All right, we're gonna take a step touch, nice and easy, rolling the shoulders from side to side. So we always like to do a little bit of an aerobic warm up just to get our heart rate up, our blood pumping. Take the legs wide and just dip the chest. Let's add a jab, so jab across the body. Feel free to get your kids, if you've got older children, if you've got your partner at home at the moment, feel free to get them involved as well. Take that jab a little bit higher. Invert the knee and squeeze your bottom. Lovely. Back to our step touch. So bring your feet together, just bring those arms forward and back. As long as you're moving your feet, you're doing great already. Give us a bicep curl now, so lifting those arms up and down. And take it to a fly, out to the side. Lovely. All right, just check behind you, check you've got enough space into a new move. We've got a hamstring curl. So kick your bottom. Knees nice and wide, chest lifted. And you can always relax those arms if it feels more comfortable. Or again, if you're holding your baby, make sure they're supported and you're breathing. From the side, can you kick your bottom to really lengthen your quadricep muscles? Can we do a double now? We're gonna do a double up and a double. So just moving to start. Save some energy for that hip lock. Into a relaxed single knee. So lift your knees up. 
If you have had a caesarean section or if you're getting any pain, lower abdominals, feel free to just tap the leg instead. Or lift that knee nice and high, swing the arms. So we want to make it as less complicated as possible today so everybody finds it easy and a little bit of a challenge. Now bring those knees straight in front of you. Again, from the side, zip up your belly and punch forwards. Good. Add a little bit of a rotation. We're going to punch both arms up and down. Nice. As I say, 20 minute workout. Perfect. All right, take it back to the march. Let's give our legs a little bit of direction. Right or left leg, we're going to take to a box. So we're going to step wide and then step your feet together. Add a little squat down. Down, down, up, up. Put the weight into your heels, pump the arms as much as you can. One more, then change legs, lead with the other side. So you've got equality through those hips. Four more, go down. Three, two, nice. Back to that gentle march. Elbows are coming together and apart. You can feel your heart rate coming up, eh? All right, one of my favourite moves, repeater. Turn to the right and you're going to bring your knee in towards your chest. And make sure we're not here. Or you send lengthen through your spine, pump the arms, and bend your front knee. We're going to change in three, two, one, turn. Push your back heel down to lengthen through your calves. Nice. Back to the front to move. We're going to really push that arm across. The bigger the movements, the better. Give it a throw. If you're in the mood, just throw it. <laughs> From here, we're going to pull the elbows down into a deep squat. This is a great exercise to strengthen your glutes. Perfect. Now stay here. Little tiny abdominal twist. Knees are out, tailbone is under. Looking good. How are you doing at home? Yeah. Brilliant. Walk those feet back in. Let's have a stretch. So reach down to your feet, bend your knees from the side, and then roll up through the spine and stretch towards the ceiling. Exhale. Inhale. One more time. Lengthen your hamstrings, bend your knees, and lift your belly up. All right, I think we're ready to go. Okay, here comes your hip block. Grab a drink now. First exercise we're gonna do Five exercises, 30 seconds hard work, 15 seconds rest. And we're gonna do that twice. So grab a drink. <laughs> okay. Your first exercise, ladies and gents, if you're uh, if you're joining in today, I just want you to walk. This is a good option for you if you've recently had babe, if you're not quite feeling yourself, or can I tempt you into a small jog? Let's go, 30 seconds. You can hear the ding ding, hopefully. If this is a few, what do you do? You take it straight back down. If you are running, try to kick your bum. You've got 10 seconds left. Keep going. Two, one. Well done, lovely, relax. Let's go back to those squats, legs wide. Okay, right, as you squat, bring all your arms into the center and then stand up and relax. You ready? Go, 30 seconds. Knees are out, again from the side, your back is straight if you're holding weights or baby here. 
you're working harder. <laughs> Now you're halfway there. Those of you who have been training with me for a while, you can always introduce that squat jump if you want to, if your ankles feel safe. And you're done, lovely. Shake off those legs. All right, how you doing? We're nearly hard. halfway through the hip block. This is your half jack. You can do any arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And go as low and wide as you can. Beautiful. Again, if you're up for the challenge today, you can go for those jump jacks. But like I always say in class, if you feel like you're going to wet yourself, that's okay. Just take it down. Seven seconds left. High or low impact, your choice. Three, two... One, nice. Next move requires a little bit more space. You can either go this way. I'm gonna slightly go on diagonal maybe. You're gonna go shuffle, tap towards the front and shuffle, tap towards the back. Okay, find your space. Make sure you're clear. If you do have room, you can go faster if you wish. Bend your knees, keep your chest up and breathe. That's the key. Go on girls, you can do it. You've got four, three, two, one. Reset. Heart rate up, definitely. One more exercise. Ski jumps, feet together. Bend your knees. You ready? Let's go skiing. Low impact option, lift your heels off the floor, bend your knees deeply. High option, jump. Again, if your pelvic floor, if your muscles and your joints just aren't feeling it, take it easy. Keep going, nearly there, you've got three seconds. And take a pause. Ooh. Grab a drink now while you've got the chance. Should we do that hit again? Mm. Let's do it from the top. Take your time if you need to. Whenever you're ready, let's come back in for that run. If you want to stop now, stop. Or five more exercises from the beginning. Now, Start to add a little bit of athleticism, whether you're marching or running, doesn't matter. Suck that belly in, lengthen your lumbar spine. I've been hating on it, don't know why. And rest. How are you doing? Fantastic, right, you're doing great, I know you are. Legs wide, squats or squat jumps. Why not try it this time? Squat and maybe a little heel raise to test your balance. Heel raise. When you squat, you don't want your heels to lift off the floor. You don't want your knees to go forwards. Sit everything back into your heels and give it a big squeeze when you get to the top. That's really gonna push from behind, strengthening glutes, which is then gonna strengthen your back. Squat jumps. Or just squats. Go on, last one. Yeah. You've got three more. Then we're done with a hit. Half jack. Any arms. I like to squeeze my shoulders together on this one. Right. High option if you want it. There we go. You might want to go a little bit slower so you've got a double bounce out and a double bounce in. That might give you a little bit more control pelvic floor wise. Maybe. 10 seconds, wherever you are, level one, level two maybe, or four jacks. Three, two, one. Stop. Hold well on. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. Stay low to the floor as much as you can. Quick demo. 
Nice and easy if you need to. Good. You might even want just want to step. Step to the side. All right, let's go two. Travel as far as you can. From one side of the kitchen to the other. Or wherever you're doing it. Keep going. Inhale, exhale. Five seconds. Yo! Last exercise, ski jumps. Let's get on our skis. Again, hips go back. Push off and land. Momentum in the arms. Last one, you've got this. Go. 30 seconds. This is my first workout in a week. I'm feeling it, so I bet you are too. But you're going to feel great after this. You're not going to ache from these exercises. We've got short bursts of low, low reps with high intensity. And you're done. Well done, good. Grab a quick drink. And we've got about 10 minutes of timing left. Ooh. All right. I want you to find a wall at home. If you're holding baby, if they're not too heavy, can you do this with them? Push them forward and back, holding onto them. Or you can take them up and down, but that is going to be a big burner. Otherwise, if you've got hands free, take your hands wide, press up against the wall, squeeze your butt and your belly, go. We're going to do 10, 9, 8, 7, keep your body flat, good, 6, breathe, 4, it all goes out to the side, 3, All right, let's come down to the floor. Get yourself on a carpet, grab yourself a mat if you've got one at home. <clears throat> Take a breather. I'm a little if only, eh? Okay? okay. Right, we're going to continue with the arms, working the triceps, but also working the core on this one. So come onto your all fours. If you're suffering with carpal tunnel syndrome, get yourself against the wall and you can do this one here. One press up and then the opposite arm to leg lifts back. So this is a real gentle way to get yourself back into exercise. These exercises, great for the core, strengthening. Otherwise, everybody else, we're going to do a tricep dip and then opposite arm to leg for pointer. Tricep, opposite arm to leg. Once you've got it, once you feel comfortable, you can go a little bit faster with a little bit more control. Woohoo! Lengthen your spine. Imagine there's cake just in front of you, so really reach it. Those of you who've been training with me, I want a little bit more muscle tone. Walk your knees back a little bit, and you might want to see if you can get your chest down to the floor and then take that pointer. Chest down to the floor and pointer. Ooh. Oh, that's up a notch, that one. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, can you do four more for me at home? Keep going. Yeah. Last two. Last one. Good. Then take a recovery back in your position. We're coming back to our squats, all right? Roll up through your spine. Take your legs wide. Feel free to grab some weights. Grab your baby for this one to add a little bit more intensity. Give me some single squats when you're ready. Arms wherever you fancy. Hips back. Let's go for eight. Nice and wide. Seven. Six. Five. Push into your heels and engage your quadriceps. Lost count already. <laughs> Three, two, 
one, into three pulse squats. When you're ready, we've got three, two, one, and drive the hips up. Go, three, two, one, hips up. Squeeze from the side, hips. Woohoo! So not only is this gonna give you long, luscious legs and a nice, tight, firm boot, we're going to feel great from the inside out as well. Can you do seven to finish? Yes, you can. Ready? Go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And again, go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Third time lucky. I promise on my heart. Seven, six, knees out. Five, four, three, Two, one, yes, shake them off. <laughs> Two more on the legs and we're gonna work our core. All right, stepping forwards, lunges. Lunge, and then just bring your feet together. Go on the other leg, lunge, bring your feet together. Now lunges are a really tricky one. Some people don't like them. Some people's knees just feel a little bit vulnerable. So if your knees don't like that, why not take a narrow squat instead? That might suit you. Now you can go a little bit lower if you want to. Right, let's do six more teams. Six. Chest up, strong arms. If you've got your babe, great. Two more, two more. Well done, good. Quads and thighs are done. Inside thighs now, this is a great one. Try this. Kick the right leg, lunge onto it, kick, and then step the feet together. So we lift the leg, lunge, lift, feet together. You ready? Three, two, one. Lift, lunge, lift, together. What we want to try and avoid is lifting the hips too high. So stay controlled, spirit level on the hips. You might want to bring in the arms. That was my hip that just clicked. It's been a week off. Oh, and again, one more. Yeah, good, change sides, shuffle. Let's go. Lift, lunge, lift, together. So this is working on your balance as well. After having baby and pregnancy, your balance is really affected. So this is a great exercise to challenge yourself. Now can you squeeze your inner thighs here? Lift, lunge, lift and squeeze. One more for luck. Yay, good. All right, coming back down to the floor. If you're working with baby, a great way to keep connection with them is to lay them on the floor so that you've got that eye contact there. Or if they're happy sleeping, feeding, in their bouncer, just let them be. All right, come on to all fours. Check your hands are underneath your shoulders. Your tummy is engaged. We don't want arch spine or don't want cat stretch. Nice neutral spine. Try this, tuck your toes under, lift the knees off for five seconds, bracing your core. Then drop the knees to the floor and take a little rest off the wrists if you need to. Go again, six seconds this time. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees down. Eight seconds. Eight, seven, six, five. Any pain stop? Three, two, one. Yeah. 10 seconds, let's go. Those of you who are in full plank, go for it. Those of you who are fairly new, stay with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Stretch back. Feels good to move, eh? It's the main reason why I'm doing this. Just giving back to you guys. Okay. Come on to your side. We've got a couple more exercises, then we're going to stretch. Elbow onto shoulder, 
reaching up and then through the hole. This is called thread the needle. Great for your posture, great for your side waist. Level one, suck that belly in and rotate. If you're feeling it across the back at any time or shoulders, just stop. Level two, can you lift your hips off? Do the difference again by just upping it a level. So lifting up and down. If there's any athletes in the room, you might want to see if you can do it on your toes. But that is an intense one, so drop it down if you need to. Let's do two more. Yes, lovely. Lower the hips, spin around. Other side. So nothing majorly challenging that I, everything that I'm doing is that I feel comfortable that you can do at home, okay? So be sensible with yourself. Keep breathing, level one, hips on the floor. Yeah, lovely, right, level two, creep up if you can. What we want to avoid here is sinking into the shoulders. Breathe in as you reach up, breathe out as you twist. Highest option of all. You're doing fantastic, I know you are, right? Make this your last one. Rotate as far as you can. Yeah, well done. Lower the hips. Onto your back for your last one, which is our main core exercise, if you can see. All right. I want you to grab your hands or sit baby on your bellies here or hips. This is a great way of pushing down into your abdominals. We don't want an arch too big behind the back. So we want to really connect our lower spine towards the floor, but not tucking under too much. Just tilt your pelvis a couple of times. And really feel the engagement and the contraction of the abdominals here. All right, when your belly is mixed engaged, take a look, lower the arms, we're going to lift one leg up to 90 degrees, lift the other leg up to 90 degrees, lower down, and lower down. Do it again with the other leg. Oops. So used to much more space than this. <laughs> Go again, reach up 90 degrees, knees come to join, down and down. Control is so much better for the abdominals postnatally. We don't want to be doing those crunches, those planks. Leave that to the athletes. Let's get ourselves strong from inside out. Last one team, breathing in, breathing out. Slow controlled movements. Now lift both legs up and see if you can hold here. Press down. If you've got baby, smile at them. They're probably going to puke on you in this position. <laughs> you can always chest press them if you want to. Can you feel that? And can you press those palms away a tiny bit? Oh, if you feel that through your lower back, stop. Bring the knees in. Oh, we've got five, four, three, two. One, good, legs down. Oh, you did it. Rock your knees from side to side, rest. Brilliant, well done. So I just wanted to give you those short bursts, covering full body as much as possible, get your heart rate up, extend your leg to the ceiling if you can, circle the ankles. So you can do this workout as many times as you like, or maybe just once a week, give it a go. Come back to it, see if you can improve and progress. Just make sure you're safe. Other leg. Amazing, lovely. Okay, use your abdominals. Roll up through the spine. Take a seat to finish. All right. Perfect. Let's stretch out our bums. So take one leg slightly behind. I'm going to go to the side. 
and then just come forward stretching out your back and your bottom in that lower leg. got a little bit sweaty there, definitely. Change sides. <clears throat> Yay, so I'm going to try and bring you as much content as possible. If I've got time, <laughs> I have got time, we've got lots of time at the minute. Lovely. All right, come up to stand in any way you can. Roll through your spine, take your time. Oh, good. Balance to finish. If you've got a wall, hold on to it, or try not to. Can't grab that back leg, just hold balance. Good, let that leg go. Press the heel down, lift the arms. If you've got your baby, just hold on to them here. Feel that nice stretch through the back of the body, release through the chest. Good, change legs on the neck. Zip up from your pubic bone into your belly button. Half stretch, other side, press the heel down. Big reach, or oh, you might want to place your hands on the bum here. Fabulous, last few seconds, shift your weight from side to side, groin stretch. Yeah, hold your feet together. Take a big twist round to your right. Twist round to your left. Brilliant, take a nice deep breath in. Deep breath out, and that's it, the end of our workout. Lovely. You did it, well done, give yourself a clap at home. So please like and subscribe my YouTube page. How is that? Um, and you're gonna see more content, it will notify you when some more is up. Have a great day. Do it again tomorrow if you want to. Um, film yourself, take a picture of yourself, let me know that you've done it. Let me know how you feel after it, most importantly. Have a good day, bye.